previous 13 games prior to that Niagara series with a lower body injury, as you mentioned, that he suffered at the end of October. No rust in his game, though. Stopped 49 of 53 shots in a couple of pioneer victories, but does not stop this one. Ethan Acoin lighting the lamp to get things started for the Huskies. 1-0 to the visitors with 90 seconds left in the first. Defenseman. A little example of what has made this Huskies penalty kill so good this season. Denver, though. Good chance in front again. Devine crashing in. Rizzo there to clean up and finish. The nation's leading scorer lights the lamp on the power play, and we're level at one apiece. Nothing better than a goal, nice and early in a period. Denver with a good entry. They lose the puck, and then they recover really quick to extend offensive zone play. Devine's been a good F1 all night. He forced another turnover on a four check, and then Denver can go to work. It's a little bit of a broken play to go to the front of the net, but Rizzo layers up going underneath the hash marks to bury it. You see the broken play, puck moving around a little bit. Devine gets in there, clears out a little space, and Rizzo jams the front. You had a get. Headed off by Kent Anderson, who scored a highlight real goal to use last time out against Niagara. Here's right now leading the rush up to King. Good find now. Ashcroft shot wide. Jared right in front. They don't come easier than that. The softball with the tap in. Goals just over a minute apart, and it's 2 1 to you. Here comes Denver. They're right down the middle, which is what they couldn't do in period number one. They make a little play on the half ball, wait for a delay. Shot comes through to the front. And a little bit of a tie up in front as Bassey was just slow to react. This is all predicated on a good entry with speed. Denver then gets the opportunity. It's a miss off the backboard. Rizzo able to pick it up across to Webster. Back to Rizzo in the back of the net. Second of the night for Massimo Rizzo. Three to one, Denver on top. St. Cloud tries to get out of its own end. There's no one to give the puck to. It stays wide, but Denver just bounced up. A lot play by Denver. They just reloaded high outside the blue line, and then they got going quick, and Rizzo, the key to this whole play. Werner Mietman tried to find Peart now. Watch out. Carter King has four shorthanded goals this season. He'll play it in front. Rieger Lorenz there to finish. Another shorthanded tally for the Pioneers. Their seventh this season, and it's four to one. Rieger Lorenz, one of those players that came in under the radar and just, just become a star. And what a job by Denver. The green light was flashing, and Lorenz just won a foot race against the Cobby to get back to the net. Good work by King here to pull up, to open up that lane as he got Peart turned around and in a spot where he couldn't make a play. See the stick of Peart is now off the ice, so he can't defend. Up to Zeev, who leads the nation's defenseman in points. Tried to tee up his brother that time, but Shai couldn't hammer it home. Cleared away by the Huskies with 17 seconds left in the period. Again, DU still on the power play. Chance for one more rush. Zeev trying to weave through four Huskies. It comes to throws now. The one-timer, Miko Matica on the power play with four seconds left in the period. What an end to an impressive second frame for the hosts. The freshman can't stop scoring, neither can the Pioneers. T. Bowie, one on four, gets the puck into a good area. And Devin can go to work, and Patrick Wall wouldn't have stopped that. A 
I mean, what a ball by Matica, who has really displayed this year a one-timer of NHL caliber. What a shot. Denver, once again, possession. They don't hold it too long. And